What's up everybody, Main Fly Guys here. I'm gonna be showing you how I make my own dubbing. Um, here I have a red squirrel that I harvested this fall and I'm not gonna use any of the tail for it. I'm just gonna use the body here. There's also, if you can see, there's some white. I'm avoiding the white because I just want, I want it to be this brown red color. Um, so my first step is just to get the hair off. I just have an old pair of clippers here that I don't use anymore. Um, and so I'm just gonna go. The only tip here is if you want a longer, fluffier dubbing, then make it so that your blades are uh, a little bit shorter, so the cut is gonna be a little bit longer. If you want it to be thinner and finer, make your blades a little higher so the cut will be uh, not as long, and that will give you just the top coat. The bottom coat here is nice and fluffy, um, but after I shear it, I'm just gonna put it in this bowl and then uh, I'll go on to the next step for you guys. All right guys, so I got uh, my fur cut off here and as you can see in the bowl here, it's a nice mix of sort of a red, uh, brownish and gray um, uh, coloration here that's very earthy, I would say. So gonna work great on pheasant tails, stoneflies, nymphs, you know. It's uh, it's not really super water repelling, so I like to use it on nymphs, but you definitely can use it on clink hammers and you know other dry flies that have a lot of uh, buoyant material material on them. So uh, I really like the color of it. It's really really natural. It seems to produce well. So <clears throat> I'm going to uh, go on to the next step, which is I like to add a little, little, little bit of flash to it. Um, just a little bit of flash to it. Okay, so on to the next step. I like to add a little bit of flash into it. Very, very little amount. If you put too much flash, then it kind of ruins it and kind of ruins that earthy tone. So what I do is here is some polar flash and when you cut the tips, there's always a little bundle left on top, you know? So what I do is I go through here and I just take, you know, a little less than a pencil sort of diameter amount and I'll just toss it in here. So I just take a little snip. Here, I'll just do this so you guys can see it. So I usually cut it short, about the same length as the, uh, about the same length as the red squirrel fiber. So I'm just going to do one more clip. And less is better. I really don't like there to be a lot of material in there. So you can see there's just a little bit of flash in there, um, kind of sprinkled around. And on to the final step, um, which is putting it into a grinder, just to mix it up. Okay, so I have just this little coffee bean grinder, which I use for coffee, so don't tell anyone that I'm using it for squirrel fur but so I just take my mess and I just toss it in here it's easy to clean so toss it in here and you don't want to cut it up too much so I just give it like four or five taps where it'll kind of mix it up all right so as you can see in here and I'll see if I can get a good look for you guys here. You can see that it mixes it up nice and good and gives it this um, very earthy tone. There, you guys can see it there. Nice earthy tone. And uh, what I'll do is I'll tie a fly with it. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. So, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Thanks.